Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing from Woozy. Now before we get into the unboxing, I did want to tell you, you will probably hear noise coming from the other room because it is Sunday evening and my boys are watching TV and I am in here filming a video for you guys. So I apologize for any background noise that you hear. So this is actually my second time to order from Woozy and I will put a link in the cards up above to my first unboxing. But the reason that I ordered the second time is when I placed my first order, one of the items that I wanted to get was out of stock and it came back in stock. So I placed a second order. And when I ordered, I decided to add something else to my order as well because I wanted to check out another one of their items. So Woozy is a shop on Etsy and they sell leather notebook covers and traveler's notebooks and all those types of things. And they also sell small binders similar to a plotter. And that's actually how I found this brand to start with. And when they ship your order, they package it really really well and it ships really really fast and then your items come in these really nice heavy duty boxes and it says on here lay a foundation and the time will come for you to shine it has some nice gold foiling and then inside you get your authenticity certificates for the leather you get a little card that has their leather samples on it. So it has their different colors that they have for their plotter type notebooks. And the little note from them with their Instagram, I'll put links to their Instagram and their Etsy down in the description box. I love the little leather samples. This is the little authenticity certificate for the leather. And then this talks about the designer and a little bit about the products. And these are my two covers. So like I said, I did place this order because when I placed my last order, one of the items that I wanted, they didn't have in stock. And that was their small, what they call a six size ring binder that is similar to the mini plotter. So this is my plotter in mini size. And I really love this. It's about the same size as a passport notebook. Let me see, I have. This is a sterling ink passport, like chunky notebook. And if this was in a cover, it would be about the same size as this plotter. So it's about the same size as passport. The inserts that it takes inside are pocket size inserts, which sterling ink sells pocket size pre-punched inserts in Tomoe River paper, which I love, which I have in here. And I really love this little notebook and my plotter and my other woozies. And I wanted to get one of the woozies in this same size to be able to compare and see how the size is similar or different and to check out the leather and just to have a second one. So the setup that I have in my plotter is I have four sections in here. These are from Gracie Edits. So I have lists, quotes, ideas, and notes. And then I have some free printables. Most of them are from My Minimal Planner, but I have some freebie dashboards in here and then some freebie inserts. Like I have this checklist insert. And then I have Tomoe River Paper inserts in here from Sterling Ink and a little page marker from Ara Estelle. And I just love this little notebook. It's perfect for keeping by your bedside for those random ideas or for tossing in your purse or for keeping in your car or on your desk. And so I'm really liking this little size and it's so pretty. So I wanted to get one in the woozy. So that's why I placed the order and that's what this is. And then this is a different notebook cover that I wanted to check out and share with you guys as well. So this is the woozy in the same leather actually. These are both Pueblo leathers and they're roughly the same color. This one's a little bit darker and they will darken with time and get patina and smooth out and get shine. I did talk a lot about this leather in my other videos. Um, I think mostly in my plotter video. So I'll put a link to that up above. But the woozy, which I knew from watching some videos is cut a little bit narrower than the plotter. And so I wanted to kind of see how I liked it. It looks very similar otherwise. Plotters have a full metal bar and the woozies have these partial bars on the side. Oh, I love the leather. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like a boot shop. And the woozy comes with a ring protector. So it's a leather piece that protects your leather on the outside so you can't feel the rings and they don't make an indention. The plotter, actu the plotter actually sells those as well, but you have to buy them separately. So the woozy is a little bit cheaper and it comes with that already. They both have cross rings. So if you can see that, 
They are Krauss rings. They are 10 millimeter, teeny tiny rings, and I just love them. So inside, they're gonna be basically the same because they do have the same rings. It's just that this one is cut. Let me move that out of the way a little bit. This one is cut ever so slightly narrower, as you can see there. So I wanted to have a second one and just kind of check it out. So because this one is cut narrower, I don't know how the tabs are gonna work. I do have another set, so we're gonna put those in there. But I think that I'll still have like enough space for the tabs. I only have one of these um, closure things from Plotter. I was gonna try to make one myself. So I only have one of those. So I may move that to this instead because I may carry this one in my purse now instead just because it's a little bit smaller. I think it'll fit in my bag a little better because I don't carry big purses. But your rings just open up like that. And then this is my other set of tabs from Gracie Edits. They are the same tabs. I'll put the type of tabs down here because I don't remember offhand. I think they're just called vellum, but I don't want to to miss say, so I'll put the correct one. And I got these in a different font, but it's the same sections, lists, quotes, ideas, and notes. So these are my little tabs. And then we put them there. Oh, they do stick out just a smidge. So I don't know if I will trim them. I might trim them just a little bit. I'll have to see. Uh, maybe not, but it may not bother me either. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out if I want to trim these down or not use tabs. I wasn't sure how they'd fit because this is narrower, but I could also just put the Tamoya River paper inserts in here and I don't actually have to have tabs. And then I could move the Aura Stell marker, uh, page marker, and I could put that in there to mark the place that I'm on. So I might do that. But it is cut narrower, so like I said, the tabs will stick out. The tabs work perfectly in the plotter, in case you were looking at the two and you kind of wanted to know the size difference. And then this is my, um, I think it's plowed pocket RSL that I got for free. And I'm using this as storage for my Tomoe River paper inserts. So these are inserts from Sterling Ink. They come pre-cut with the curved edges and the hole punching already ready to go. And they come with um, plain white edges, which is what this set is, and then also gold gilded edges, like their notebooks. And so I do have the gilded edge ones too. I just haven't used them yet. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, but that's so nice. I may just not put tabs in here. I may do that and just have this as like a little notebook. I don't really need the tabs in my purse for just random, I use it just kind of for random things. You know, like when you're driving and you think of something, and then at a stoplight, I grab it and make notes. So I may just stick this one in my car and not even in my purse and not put tabs. I'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure, I'm undecided, but I like how slim it is. And so this is the little band closure thing from Plotter. And so it sits in there and then it has this elastic to close it. So I'm gonna have to either buy another one or design one myself, but it would look like that. And then I'd have two of them. So this is the reason that I ordered. I wanted to see how the leather compared since it is the same leather. Of course, color can be slightly different. Every hide will take the dye slightly different. So I expected that the colors wouldn't be identical and I'm actually perfectly happy with that. I wouldn't want them to really be identical. It does have their stamp there with their brand on it. I do love that it is narrower. I do like my tabs though. So I'll just have to make two kind of different purposes for these, but very excited. So that was the main reason that I ordered because I wanted to get their A6 size, which is basically a pocket planner. And then when I was ordering, or when I was ordering the first time actually, I had seen these folio covers that they had and they were so pretty. They come in A6 and A5 size and I was really drawn to them. So I decided I wanted to buy one of those too. So I added that to this order. I debated between A5 and A6 size, but I have a lot of A5 size covers and I have recently bought a couple of A6 notebooks. I have a half year notebook from Wonderland 222. And then I have this one from Paper Echoes. I have a video on their planner and on this notebook. And so I thought it would be nice to get a leather cover to put one of these in. So I decided to get A6 
and look how pretty it is undyed. It has a pen loop, a little secretarial pocket, the slide pocket there for your book, a little card pocket, and then this sort of page marker. I probably wouldn't ever use that, but it is there. Oh, it smells so good. And it is undyed, so it will get darker with use, and it feels amazing. It's super thin and soft, so I decided that I would buy one of those and check it out. And I also do use an A6 size Wonderland 222 for my social media planner. I do plan on doing a video for you guys on that. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. But that's how the paper echo fits in there. I may or may not use that pen loop. I'm not sure. And I don't think that the Wonderland will fit with the clear cover on it. I think it's gonna be too tall, but maybe. Oh, it does. Oh, that's extra awesome. All right, so that's the Wonderland 222 half year notebook. It's just a blank notebook with a timeline and a place for your date. And it's in their clear cover that they sell and it fits in there also. And it fits awesome. It's like a perfect fit. Oh, I'm so excited. So I think that's what's gonna go in here for now and I'll use this at a later date. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll use this one first. I don't know, but it does fit really, really well. And I could put it on both, and I could put it in both sides if I wanted to. I just tend to always put my folios like this, but I could definitely put it on like a book cover. And I might do that in this one. I will decide later on. But that's my unboxing. I just wanted to share them with you guys because I, they came and I wanted to open them up and unbox them. But I got this undyed, beautiful folio. It feels so good. And this also comes in A5 size. And then I got my or pocket size in their spin on a plotter. And I think that is super awesome. I love that as well. So that's my unboxing. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got and show them to you guys. Like I said, I have done another unboxing from them, so I will put links to that up above, and I'll try to remember to put links to that down below as well. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below. I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this quick unboxing from Woozy. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos, and don't forget to just scribble.